morning everybody I hope you're doing well I'm just getting the kids ready for school I just kind of got myself ready for the day it's Monday so Linnea and I have play group Calm's got school Roman's at work it's just a normal normal Monday one of the last Mondays that we will have with play group I think I think we've got two three three more sessions of play group and then Linnea and I are done with play group so it's kind of crazy it's really starting to get close and Roman will be leaving very soon it's all really starting to get close but I wanted to show you what Roman and I were working on yesterday for most of the afternoon <laughs> our bedding's in the washing machine so yeah I wanted to show this to you guys look at this look what it is St. Paul's Cathedral. Isn't that amazing? I love these kinds of prints. It's an architectural print. And I got this, wow, a couple months ago. I think when my sister and my brother-in-law were here and we went to St. Paul's with Callum. It was difficult to find a frame for a long time that actually fit this. So when Ikea opened, what Roman and I did is we bought one of the big Reba frames because um, I wanted a thinner black frame around it. And we spent most of yesterday measuring it and, and cutting the matting of the frame so that it would fit around the picture. And it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. And this is going to go with us to our flat in Berlin, which it's great. So St. Paul's is coming with us to, to Germany. I'm equally pleased that Linnea's right bed is here, that the correct bed is here. And I've got to wash all their linens, their bedding today too. Just lots to wash. And yeah, I mean, things are really starting to close down around here. All right, I'm gonna put you guys right here because I have to get Callum and Linnea's clothes for the day. I have some exciting news to share with you guys. There are two new babies joining our family coming this fall. My sister and my brother-in-law who were here in January, they are expecting twins, which is so exciting. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm still in shock a little bit, but now I can talk about it because they're talking about it. They announced it yesterday and I'm really excited for them. Um, I'm excited for me too. I love, I just, I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. The babies are due early October. If I could just ask for your thoughts and prayers that they get as close as possible to that, to that 40 week due date, um, that would be appreciated because obviously as close as they get to being full term then um then they'll be they'll be fine so you just want we just want two healthy babies at the end of all this so it's a really special time for my sister i love i love people when they're in their their very first pregnancy um because they get it for the first time like you don't really understand the responsibility and the weight on your shoulders and you don't understand the wide range of emotions, but yet the very deep, deep love and devotion to your child until you have one. And so it's been really special for me to have this, to share this with my sister now, because now she gets it. And obviously, you know, my, my firstborn is, is five. So it's been about six years that I, it's been almost six years, six years this summer that I found out I was pregnant. So it's, um, it's really special now for me to get to see her in this phase of life and just to be there supporting her. And yeah, it's really, it's really cool. Got Nini in the stroller. Where's Callum? <gasps> Whoa, guys, look at what happened. The wind blew the fence down. Isn't that crazy? The wind was so strong. Yeah. And and it was, and Papa said it was a bit too old. Yeah, Papa's right. It probably needed to be replaced anyways, because Papa's right, it wasn't Maybe a bit old. somebody can build it back. Mm -hmm. I bet you could do it. Mm -hmm. I'm not really good at fixing things. You're not good at fixing things? Oh, I am. I can fix anything. You can fix anything. Well, yeah. you fix your Legos all the time. Don't yep, you? and I built something really new, mm -hmm. and I can fix it back again, and mm. I fix everything. See? So you can fix things. All right, me and this one. She and I are heading on off to playgroup, huh? We have three more playgroups left before we move. <gasps> Look at those sunglasses. 
Look at that girl. Dinner time, dinner time, vegetables. The dinner time, dinner time, vegetables. Hi, Nini. Vegetables. Vegetables. Hey, Callie. Oh, what a day. So, let me catch you guys up. I'm cleaning up from dinner. I got a I got an email from our landlord saying that they are sending an electrician over to work on an ongoing electrical issue. They sent an electrician over who's been here since one he's been here since one o'clock. It's now almost six, isn't it? It is, it's six thirty. Jeez. So he's been here for a long time. And the house is a mess. It's been a long day for Roman at work and it's just one of those moods where you just kind of want the kids to go to bed so that you can just relax. Good morning, everybody. You can see the laundry that I need to fold. <laughs> Gosh. I went to bed very early last night and it was marvelous. Roman and I have been getting woken up by the kids a lot lately. One thing that I am really looking, really looking forward to, um, when we go when we go back to germany is having those roll down shutters that make the room really dark and they wake up in the morning and it's sunny and they think oh it's time to wake up even though it's like 5 30 in the morning <sighs> can't have that just can't have that so i'm hoping i'm hoping that having these roll down shutters will make it because you can make basically make the room pitch black we had an electrician here yesterday for five hours five hours it was just a bunch of old faulty cables that really desperately needed to replaced to be replaced that probably haven't been replaced in decades. Um, so he had to rewire some stuff and he had to replace a bunch of cables and put in new lights and it was just, it was a lot, it was a lot. Anyways, it's a school morning, it looks like it's raining. <sighs> Gotta get the kids, well Callum, off to school. The kleine Dax had from Tante Törtchen a paket with the leckersten Sachen bekommen. Er hat es gut und alle anderen auch, denn jeder seiner Freunde darf sich etwas aussuchen. Damit es kein Getränke gibt, bilden sie eine Schlange. Nur der kleine Rabe Socke springt vor und schnappt sich einen Schmatzewurm. Das darf er nicht. 